Hey guys, prepared wander out in the woods today. I wanted to show you the Mountain Smith Tour. This is the the newest one in their lineup. Um, the Mountain Smith Tour has been around for a very long time. This is not a new bag, uh, but this design, these upgrades that they've made to this bag have significantly changed it and I think made it a little bit of, of a better EDC hiking bag. And I want to show you mine and what I'm doing with it and see what you guys think. So stay tuned. All right, so how I have this thing set up is, um, is kind of a grab and go EDC, but also uh, for hikes. Uh, my wife and I have started hiking Metro parks in our area. And she carries a, um, an older Mountain Smith Tour, and she really likes that bag. And I decided, well, I probably should get one too, so I can carry water and essentials with me. But I wanted it to do several different things. I don't want it to be just for hiking. I want to be able to throw this thing in my truck, uh, carry some necessities with me when I'm traveling, um, possibly using it uh, with camera gear. So I really wanted multiple roles for it. And I think it's a good bag for that and just because of its versatility and what it can carry. So right off the top, two dual water bottle holders on each side. These are big enough to hold the 32 ounce standard Nalgene bottle, which I think is a big plus for a lot of people. Um, it certainly is for me. If you want to carry a lot of water, this is the way to do it. So able to carry a full size water bottle and you can carry, if I can get it out of here, um, a nesting cup as well. This cup is the um, Ollie Camp nesting cup. It is uh, 20 ounces, so it's pretty standard. It'll this you know any of the nesting cups will fit in here, like the uh, like the Walmart or the GSI. Uh, canteen cups will not fit in these side pouches. A canteen will, but a canteen cup will not. So just uh, note that as you're as we're walking through this review. <clears throat> On the front of it, it's, it comes with this um, shock cord built in, which is a really nice feature because then if you want to throw in a jacket or something like that, you can do that pretty easily. I've got a couple Grimlocks on here, uh, so I can attach extra gear to it. Of course, I got my hand sanitizer on the outside. It has a zipper pocket on the front that has a key leash built in. I've just got a, a compass and a whistle in here. Got my bandana, my uh, Olight headlamp, some energy bars. Not much. You got dual uh, grab handles, which are really well stitched. There's, they're actually backed up with another piece of nylon, so these things aren't gonna pull out on you or fray or, or whatever. You have to forgive the noise a little bit. I'm at a, a public hiking trail. So you open up the main compartment and it has this padded neoprene sleeve in the back which they say it's designed for like a tablet. Um, you know if you're going to use this for office carry or urban carry you certainly can do that. It's also nice for carrying um, items that are a little flatter so I've got a titanium stove, I've got this um, space uh, sleeping bag, emergency bivy. And then there's also a sewn-in zipper pocket for organization. And here I've got some coffee and tea and sugar. Uh, I've got my titanium spork. So it's a nice little pocket for organizing all that small stuff. And then the main compartment's pretty generous. I've got uh, some survival items in there, some gloves, first aid kit, and there's still plenty of room. This thing will expand. Uh, much wider than what it what it looks like right here. This is hanging, so it's a little a little tighter. Really nice mesh on the back with uh, air channel sewn into it, so you can get some airflow. Uh, the hip belt is not overly padded, so it more, conforms more to your shape and doesn't become real bulky. That way also you can, if 
you want to, you can fold this up and stick it behind that pad. Now in, in this pocket, there is a slip pocket back here. I've got my, my SE3, which conceals very nicely back there. It's a great spot for it. There's also a port for headphones. Um, I think you could probably get away with doing a small uh, hydration bladder and running a hose through there. On this side of the belt, there is a zippered pocket. So I've got uh, some lip balm, got my bird call. Good place to put keys. Now for whatever reason, they didn't put anything on this side of the belt. And I don't know why. It, it seems a little strange to me. Um, if you're going to put a hip belt here, why not put one, or a, a pocket here, why wouldn't you put a pocket on this side as well? And on their older models, they did have pockets on each side, but they took it away on this side. And then what they didn't do, they could have put also, uh, you know, molly or at least one strap here, so you could at least attach your own pocket. Now if you want, it, there are these straps that attach from the front of the pack and go all the way back to the belt. And that cinches up the load of the pack. It brings the pack against your body more. And you can either have that over the water bottle or you can have it behind the water bottle. I kind of like it behind the water bottle. That way it doesn't stick out too far. But if, you pull, if you're wearing this on your hip and you pull this the strap in it it just tightens everything up to your body which is a great feature it just it keeps the bag from flopping around on your back at, and that's important with lumbar packs now moving you can also remove this shoulder strap and you can attach uh, the optional uh, strapettes which are an X strap shoulder harness which allows you to carry more weight. And if you're gonna carry a lot of weight with this pack, I suggest getting some kind of harness system to, to help stabilize it. That puts the load on your shoulders more and off of your waist and helps stabilize it. Uh, you don't have to use the Mountain Smith strap bets. Um, I've read a review where one guy took um, Hill People Gear shoulder straps off their packs and was able to attach it via these buckles. So that's an option. You can also uh, set this up with uh, Alice Y straps from your Alice gear. So you old uh, army dogs who still have some Alice gear floating around in your basement, that is an option, very easy to do. They would just clip into these straps right here or you can even thread a D-ring on that, clip those on and then the other strap clips down here on this metal bracket or buckle. Mountain Smith Packs. From what I've read, this is a 600D denier Cordura. It has a very uh, kind of soft, slick feel to it. And I like it. It looks, it looks great. It feels good. I think it's going to do a nice job of repelling water and being bra abrasion resistant. And of course, the camo pattern I think is pretty cool. You can also get this bag in uh, kind of a hunter OD green and then a coyote tan uh, for the subdued colors and then they have some brighter colors like red and there's a blue and uh, I think uh, black as well so sort some different options but as a bag that um, I can tuck away the waist belt and uh, carry it shoulder style into a building uh, or I can undo that take that belt out and carry it hiking it just gives me some different options for a pack and uh, I want to definitely use it for traveling uh, storing camera gear in it <clears throat> uh, doing some hiking with it and possibly some hunting this fall also on the bottom of the pack there are straps for securing extra gear so if you got a roll like a uh, like a towel or a beach blanket or maybe um, rain gear or a poncho, maybe even a light tarp. You could roll that up and stick that under here and carry it that way. 
So lots of options. It's just a, it's a kind of a do-all bag. It's got a lot of different features to it. Um, it's going to fill a lot of different needs for me. I'm really looking forward to using it more this year. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for watching this video, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.